Hello, thank you for clicking on today's video and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review of Mary and May and thank you to Style Korean for gifting these items for me to try out and do a review for you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. So just a really brief brand introduction of Mary and May. They are a clean beauty brand that only uses natural essential ingredients. They exclude any harmful ingredients and all of the ingredients listed in the products all have a EWG green grading. I'm gonna start off with this serum and it is the Niacinamide and Chinamil Sinesis Serum and the main function of the serum is for brightening. So within the brand that they have eight different serums and they all target different themes and skin troubles that you may have. So this one is the brightening one but they also have a skin soothing one, pore troubles, they have another one for moisture and elasticity, they have one for intense moisture, wrinkle and elasticity, antioxidant, they have another one for radiance and tone up, and then just this one as well. I've actually never heard of niacinamide before, but it's actually a type of vitamin B3 that has a whitening function, and the main way that it helps whiten the skin is by blocking melanin from moving around. For those who don't know what melanin is, it's a type of skin pigmentation. I know some people might be kind of scared when they hear vitamin, especially if you have sensitive skin. Vitamin products can be a little bit acidic for your skin type. Knowing this, they have only included 2% of the vitamin in this product. So they say that it is still a safe product for most skin types. The next active ingredient in this product is the Chinamil Sinesis, which is actually like a Chinese quince fruit, like a citrusy fruit, that is also very rich in vitamin C, as well as flavonoid tannin, which is also an antioxidant that helps keep skin smooth and flexible. I do find these three products has a bit more of a scent to it, but this one doesn't really smell like anything. My take on this product is because because its main function is whitening, it's not really like your typical serum where I guess the function is more for moisturization. This one has a bit more of a watery texture and it's not sticky at all. So it is good for people who tend to have more oily skin. And I do say that this product has no artificial coloring or fragrances. I would say the other three products actually does have a bit more of a scent to them, but this one doesn't really smell like a fragrance in particular. If anything, I feel like it just smells like the ingredients is a very natural type of smell. Because of its vitamins content, I would not recommend you use this during the daytime. It is meant to be used as a nighttime, as part of a multi-step routine. I definitely would not recommend you use this by itself. Um, use this as a, an added step for brightening and then moisturize and hydrate as you normally would with an actual moisturizer. Otherwise, I did find that if I use this by itself, it did cause some peeling and dryness in the skin um, just because it is more on the acidic side with the vitamin content. Unfortunately, I can't really say too much of the brightening effects just because I'm pretty pale throughout this whole season so I can't really say I saw too much effect. Overall, I find that even though I didn't see drastic results with this product, it's definitely like a harmless product to try out. Another thing about this brand is all the products are very affordable so I think this serum along with all the other serums were only $10 USD so definitely worth a try. Next we have this cream and it is the Idebanon Blackberry Intense Cream. An interesting fact about Idebanon was that it was originally developed to treat Alzheimer's disease but it is now one of the most powerful skin antioxidants. Idebanon has an antioxidant effect that is four times higher than vitamin C and ten times higher than coenzyme Q10 which is a antioxidant that is naturally developed in the body. What I actually found very interesting when I opened this beautiful brown packaging was the bright yellow color that was inside and honestly I thought this was artificial coloring but I found out later on that this is actually the color of Idebanon itself so that's kind of where the color comes from. The other side of this product is the blackberry complex and blackberries also contain an abundance of anthocyanins which are the most powerful antioxidants among 150 different flavonoids and helps improve and prevent aging from free radicals. So the claims of this product is that after one use you get 48 hours of moisture retention. After five uses, you'll get a moisturizing improvement of up to 10 layers of added keratin, which is a protective protein. And after two weeks, you'll have improved skin barrier of up to three layers of hydration effects and elasticity build up from the inside out. Now, all of that sounds great and fancy, but there is really no way of testing if I have 10 layers of keratin and three layers of hydration effects from the inside. 
side. So I will say just my general view of this product after trying it out. I do find that this cream is a proper thick cream. It even came with a little spatula here for you to scoop it out. Because of how thick it is, I wouldn't doubt that it would provide you 48 hours of hydration just because it is so thick. Definitely a cream that you can definitely feel on your skin. So definitely a hydrating piece for people with dry skin. So maybe not for the oily folks out there. But like I mentioned, because this serum is such a drying and non-moisturizing type of serum, I have been using these two together. They are kind of like a good harmony to be used together just because this one dries your skin out a little bit. This one definitely provides you a lot of moisture. So using these two together, um, I would definitely recommend. It does say that it doesn't have any outer fragrance in it, but I did find when I was putting it on, it definitely had a bit of a smell to it and it doesn't smell like a natural smell it definitely smells like something that is fragrant but it's not too overwhelming and I do find all the products, even the products with a little bit of smell, I find it's a very luxurious type of feeling. I and mean, even the packaging, I find it is, this is kind of like a glass type packaging. The design and the look of it, I find it's very luxurious for the price. And because I didn't buy it, I would never have guessed that it was only $17. Definitely, if you just gave me this product as a blind test and made me guess how much this was, I would have guessed it's more in the $40 to $50 range. Um, so definitely a good product for its price so I would recommend it for people who have dry skin now moving on to the next product it is this eye cream here and it is the tranexamic acid plus glutathione eye cream I hope I pronounced that right because all of these chemical names are so <laughs> difficult and it says on the packaging that it is a cream that brightens the eye contour and improve uneven skin tone so the claims of this product is that it improves dark circles around your eye area and improves facial blemishes so tranexamic acid is a raw material that exhibits a great whitening effect by again suppressing melanin production as well as growth of melanocytes which are melanin kind of cells. Glutathione is known as a white jade injection component It again acts as a powerful antioxidant uh, protecting against melanin and helps improve skin tone. So if you ever watch any of my other skincare product reviews um, I have mentioned before that I am reluctant of using eye creams that are too thick on the eye just to because I have experienced milia before my eyes just from using creams that are too rich for my skin. Um, so I've always kind of steered away from thick eye creams and have always used like more lighter weight ones. But this one, again, is a little bit of a more thicker cream. So when I first tried it on, I was a little bit hesitant. Like the first day I, I put it on and I was like, I hope, I really hope this doesn't give me milia. But thankfully it didn't. And overall, it is a nice cream. I think definitely for people who have like dry eyes or the skin around their eyes is like the said more transparent or thin um, from constant rubbing or other skin conditions I would definitely recommend this as a powerful moisturizing eye cream I don't think I'll be using this very much during the summertime um, because again it is a thicker cream but definitely something that I'll be pulling out every winter time to use and again this eye cream is very affordable at just $14 USD so again it's definitely something that I would have thought was more expensive so definitely a good product for the price and I would recommend you try this for anyone who has dry eyes. And the last product is the biggest one of the group and it is the mask pack. So this is a huge tub of face mask. I think there is 30 sheets in here. And again, this is the niacinamide vitamin C brightening mask. So again, like I mentioned before with the niacinamide serum, the ingredients are basically the same. So again, it is a vitamin formula that is catered towards brightening and whitening your skin. Again, they have chosen a mild concentration of just 2% of the niacinamide. So to be honest with you, even though I was excited to receive this big tub of mask, I have not had a very good history of these type of bulk mask. I have always liked the concept of these because they are env more environmentally friendly than individual package masks. I I've always found that I have liked the single package mask better just because I find that because they're individually packaged, the masks are better kept. But surprisingly, I will say I am I'm pleasantly surprised with this mask in comparison to other bulk masks. This has held up better. They do have a double seal, so they have just the front packaging and they also have an extra seal here to ensure that the moisture doesn't escape from the mask. So I do appreciate that because when they're in container like this, it can easily be dried out quicker. So the seal is quite tight. You do have to kind of push it in and release the air out. So. 
I have find the double seal is a little bit difficult but if you do seal it properly then it keeps the mask drying out and it does c come with a little like picker here too so it makes picking out of the mask a little bit more hygienic and easier to prevent you from like pulling multiple at the same time. This product I find is the most heavily scented amongst the other products that I've tried out. This one also actually has a fragrance as well. I don't know if I mentioned that but this one has a very similar scent to this so it is heavily fragranced but it's definitely not a fragrance that I mind. Again I find it's a very luxurious scent. I do kind of like a floral lavender-ish smell so I personally don't mind it but for people who are sensitive to fragrance please do note that this is heavily scented. With bulk masks I do find because I have only tried the top couple masks I do find they are a little bit more dry than say the single package ones again. Like I mentioned a lot of serums are probably at the bottom so I probably will find the bottom last couple sheets a little bit more liquidy. And I even though the top masks are probably a little bit more dry than the other ones I have find that after using it, there is still a bit of residue that leaves my skin feeling very hydrated. So I find it is a still a very good mask to use. Overall, I do think this is definitely a mask that is worth its price. This one comes in a tube of 30 mask and I think it's only 16 USD. So definitely worth it for the price. Um, aside from the niacinamide one, the brightening one, they do again have different types of mask um, catering to different themes. So, um, depending on your skin type so you can pick the one that you like and I think this would be a very affordable everyday mask. And those are other products for today's review. Thank you again to Star Korean for sending me these products to try out. I will have all the items linked down below so please open the description box to get the links to that. If you like today's video please give me a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. If you like today's video I also have another video of another Korean skincare brand called Cosnormy for you to check out here so please click here for that video or click here for a YouTube recommended video of mine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!